It's incredible. You live, you die. It's the in-between that counts. I got a proposition for you. Need you to take my boat out for a run. Yeah, OK, Pop. Tom. I was wondering maybe you needed an extra deckhand. <laughs> my brother. I'm curious. Curious about what, Charlie? About me. About you, too, maybe. We're going to show you what real fishermen can do. We're going to Canadian waters. What happens if we get caught? I got a new sensation. Getting caught is not an option. Canadian Coast Guard. Your vessel's been seized. I got a $100,000 fine. I'm going to lose my father's boat. I never should have trusted you. I do not understand the way you're built. You built me. I can't help you. You're going to have to do just what I ask you to. I like my resources. We want to do business. Well, Mabel here said you guys are one time, and but if this works out, this is it. One time only. Do you know what line you're crossing right now? She set us up. You live. You die. It's the in-between that counts. Next thing I know, he has me on the ground. Did you see the gun in his possession? They were fine for it. Did you remember in your I, I don't think so. I don't think it's so. Simple. Yes. I don't no. remember. Well, this is Felix Navarro. I'm Charlie Hobbs. I A. You ever lay eyes on this hombre? Never laid eyes on him. I doesn't drive all the way down here for no reason. I told you, it's got nothing to do with this. Agent Hitchcock! All you're doing is lock me. I tried to. I think I did this. Just trying to figure out what Sacha really was. Working out here has a way of getting under your skin. Sit, please. Not there. That's the transformation couch. You'd be careful. <laughs> Why would you come here to see me if you disagree so passionately with my views? You've insisted all your lives that the very concept of God is ludicrous. Yes. Clash between God and Satan. Ah, but I did not say whose side I was on. I consider what people tell me far less interesting than what they choose not to tell me. Have you frightened off your professor yet? <laughs> not yet. Soon, perhaps. You challenge my disbelief, is that correct? I do. Well done! Go! Too late to turn back now. 
Seems to me, Professor, you never matured enough to face the terror of being alone in the dark. What is it you think I'm so afraid of? Yeah, we're all terrified. Do you bury your doubts? Do you bury your memories of the war? But at the core of your being, we're all cowards before death. Dear Edith, you foxy ass old whore. Carry on. You really are a tricksy old fucker. And you're a sad, stinky bitch. In the end, I think it's just jealousy. I think we know who it is. Love thy neighbour, and I tried, but. I'll get you in the ball, sir! She's heinous. Edith, I didn't do it. I believe you may be charging an innocent. A woman police officer? Oh, look, a flying pig. <laughs> I've got a daughter at home. Why would I risk it all? You want fucking in the nose holes, you old beetle. Beetle? Right. <laughs> if you meddle in my case, these will be on your wrists. In prison, Rose may find some kindred spirits. In prison? No, no, not the murderers or the rapists. I'm thinking more the drunks and the queers, maybe. Just trying to find a bright side. Oi! You daft old fucking slippery old fucking dodger. Why would I send a letter when I can just say it? I'd probably say that you look like fucking Queen Victoria shoved a fucking nettle up or a fucking pussy. I don't know. You stink of cum and shit and the cakes you make look like they've fallen out some fucking shit, fucking arsehole. Better. <laughs> I have a plan. Will you catch them in the act? What'd your husband think? My husband isn't alive, Ray, so he's not thinking a great deal. <laughs> I like you, Rose. I hate her! <laughs> you don't like the idea of me leaving this house, do you? I'm going to lose her. We're not standing for it. I've had one now. Everyone is going to know. It's German. For a young man passionate about music, there's no greater place to be than Mozart's. There's real magic in this world. If one wishes to become a world-class singer, one must have discipline. One does not copy. One embodies. What are you doing back there? Please, you have to help me. Your Highness. Prince Tamino, the queen of the night awaits. The young prince. Bring back my beloved daughter. You want me to rescue a princess? Where did you go last night? Do I believe that a clock in the school is a portal into Mozart's beloved masterpiece? No. All these symbols, what do they all mean? Three spirits, three ladies, three triumphs. Are you ready, even at the peril of death? I am. I'm not sure about the whole peril of death part. The point of all of this is to feel something truthfully. And share it. Well, hello, baby girl. How are you today? So good. It's Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah, that. Your child loves Christmas. Just have fun. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Dad, isn't oh, that nice? Boy. You sound like wounded ducks. Now, what was that? <gasps> Do you mind telling me what you're doing in my chimney? Can you see me? What's your name? My name is Nicholas Sinterklaas. 
What is this? Those are carrots. The missus said I need to eat healthier, so she think this would wing me off the cookies. <laughs> Has worked so far. <laughs> if you're really Santa, tell me what Charlotte wants for Christmas. She wants a pretend makeup kit and a scooter. He's right, she does. I've never met an eight-year-old girl that did not want a pretend makeup set. Man, who are they? It looks like a uh, snowman and uh, an elf and a nutcracker, AKA every Tuesday at my house. <laughs> Got a dash. Yes. Oh no! What is going on? Those bad guys are after my naughty and nice list, but I got some associates here. Eddie's a nun believer. Really? Oh, claustrophobic. I'm sorry, what? Claustrophobic, fear of Santa Claus. That's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, you don't believe, but I have to deliver Christmas gifts tonight. Dad, we need to help him. Where are you guys? We're at Santa Claus, and he sweats glitter, and there's these people, and they aren't actually elves. Bring my child. Yes. Why don't you just have a white beard? I doubt it. If I want to look younger, I deserve that. How can these two outbox us? Oh, outrun us? Yeah. All I want to do is have you start believing again. <laughs> what you about to witness is a sleigh being pulled by eight beautiful reindeer. It's Miss Pear to Bluetooth. Who do you work for? Some people think I work for Mother Nature or Father Time. Recently, everybody thinks I work for Beyonce. But no, every married man will understand this. I work for Mrs. Claus. It's everything on my list, baby. You're a blessing, Mr. Clay. This place was crabgrass and weeds, and you brought it back to life. Mrs. Parker and I were friends. She was the only person who took care of me. I just got a message saying that there's a problem with my computer. Yes, ma'am, we got this. Yesterday, she shot herself. This is private property. Do you know what they do here? Scamming the weakest in our society? Buddy, I'm counting to three. One, two, three. There, I did it for you. No, you can't take it. No, you can't. I'm gonna burn this place to the ground. No, you can't take it away from me. Will you stomp his ass out? You're telling me one man did this. And the only thing you know is he's a beekeeper. A beekeeper, a beekeeper? Well, that's not good. Beekeepers is a special program outside the chain of command. I protect the hive. When the system is out of balance, I correct it. We have laws for these things. Until they fail, then you have me. My fingers, they cut them off. Oh, come on, bro. Don't move. This is much bigger than a little fishing scam. The money's going all over the world. To people in finance, even government. You are a problem. Cut them right, I'm a problem. I figured I'd give the firefighters a break. Somebody detain this guy. We have to kill him before he kills his way to the top. Honey? It's flammable. Who oh, no. knew? Volunteer J1987, reporting a stray in wooded area. Okay, just stay calm. They're not hostile. Yes, they are. Beth, you can't keep blaming yourself what happened. Something's happening that I don't understand. I keep having these dreams. These dreams are so vivid, but they're not real. And yet, they're connected to something real. Something in me. 
Do you think it's possible for the things we do in our dreams to change our lives while we're awake? Those people, things, they're getting worse. And I wonder if it's meds. Just because you have some witchy immunity doesn't mean you can drag me into dangerous situations. How come everyone's turning except you? Humanity. You gotta treat them with a little humanity. Because that's what we do. We care. What, a trillion dollars trying to get one dude back from Mars? If you get the opportunity to bring back Matt Damon. I just don't think we should wait around to be saved, you know? You really don't think they're sending anybody to save us? I mean. In case you haven't noticed, we're doomed to spend the rest of our miserable lives on this ship. Maybe we should do it. Do what? It. <laughs> We're not attracted now, but we would emotionally attach. You mean fall in love. What if this awesome thing we have going on gets ruined? People are meant to be together. Oh, sorry. Is this, is this on? Okay. <clears throat> Lame. We're both married. I'm sure being adrift in space gives you a hall pass. You know what you want to watch tonight? Alien? Never seen it. Why the hell did we watch that movie? It gives me great pleasure to welcome back our favorite missing persons expert, Declan Backer. to him. Again. It's almost like the missing persons are connecting this way. They're surviving, communicating through this wavelength or frequency.
Pressure plate. Ah! What's that anger? I got you! Today wasn't your fault, you know that, right? Take me on that road trip like we always talked about. Don't grieve for me, brother. Don't freak out when you see the ashes. You have no idea what I'm going through. Giovanni Scuderi, the tank. Just know I came a long way to help you do this. Let's go! I want to see the Grand Canyon. Can we get one thing straight? This isn't a vacation for me. At ease, soldier. Well, that's not good. Saw a sign for Santa Fe about 40 miles back. This is the road trip you had in mind? Not off to a great start. You pull over. Yeah, yeah, I got you, bro. I got you! I heard Ashley picked you up on his travels. Is the universe leading you to places you were meant to be? You've got a bunch of reasons to be here, though. Don't you? My best friend on a road trip with him. For your journey? When you're ready to go down that road. You didn't lay that mine. You just want to make everything hard on yourself. You're not a bad guy, Gio. Bad people don't struggle with the past. <laughs> What I like about this, it's quiet. You're going heavy, too steady, down the wrong road. It's that, or drown in drunk denial. You changed my life. You treated me like a brother. Ow, ow, ow! Everything in my life has been out of my control. Without him, I wouldn't be here right now. Try to get away. Please know I tried. I tried, but I failed. Just know. I love you. Started out as a soy milk recall one week ago has ballooned into a full-scale outbreak across the greater Los Angeles area. Uh, oh, 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 dear mother of God. Okay, we are witnessing an attack here. Um, it appears that a jogger is being attacked by a gardener. Ain't your normal Tuesday, is it? That flip-flop wearing mother he kept me on hold for three and a half hours. Oh, I hate that. Oh, God. It's the worst STD I've ever seen.